So what an awesome competition that was yesterday, and congratulations to Olivia Oslin walking out of here with the gold knuckles, Maggie. Such an exciting event yesterday. The ladies absolutely put on a show for us. The first ever women's ski knuckle huck, and they brought it. Well, we're about to hand out some more women's hardware here today. We've got the Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. Welcome, everyone. My name is Jimmy Coleman. I just happen to be standing alongside two-time X Games Slope Style gold medalist Maggie Voice, and we've got Kristen Bede out in the field. As I mentioned earlier, eight competitors in the field out here today. Let's talk about our top two. Tesla Duh, coming in hot. She was a big air performance last night with a gold medal. Yes, Tess. She is coming off an impressive win from big air last night, starting with her big tricks, the forward double cork. 1620 and the switch dub 1440. She won double gold in both big air and slope style before here in Aspen in 2022. Let's see if she can do it again today. Yeah, she's chasing a couple of records out here today. We'll dive deeper into that a little bit later on once we get into the competition. But we also have to talk about Mathilde Grimaud. Yes, now, she do. owns three silver medals in this event. She's also looking for redemption because it didn't go as she planned last night in big air. Yes, absolutely. She was a heavy podium contender in big air and unfortunately wasn't able to put it down last night. But knowing Mathilde, she is going to use that motivation out on the slope style course today. If anyone knows redemption, it is Mathilde Grimaud. You know, I also have to talk about some of the rookies. I mean, the rookie performances that we've seen out here today. I mean, this is going to be an all-out battle here on the slope style course today. Oh, my goodness. We have a field of incredibly talented ladies. And like you mentioned, the rookies. Anastasia coming from Russia, podiuming in big air. And then Rel Harwood, a rookie out here at X Games. And she has two medals. She can make it three out of three. Yeah, she's got a silver and a bronze. Looking for the trifecta out here today. We'll take a look at a start list here in a bit. But right now, let's check in with Kristen B. Jimmy, this year, X Games is leaning into a more creative scoring model. Judges are being asked to put a heightened emphasis on originality, creativity, progression. And guys, because of that, the athletes are responding to it. And uh, this slope style course is packed with opportunities. Seven features, four rail gardens, three jumps. And after watching practice, we could be seeing an upset as some of the more unorthodox skiers, Rel, Ruby, Olivia, have been absolutely owning this course and really embracing that new scoring model. Yeah, could see a changing of the guard out here today. Possibly you're seeing some uh, some rookies come in and those that are influenced by the uh, the urban street riding uh, area of free skiing. But here's the start list. Rail Hartwood, you mentioned her. She's a standout. Like we said, she's floating twice out here looking for the trifecta this weekend. But again, you mentioned as well, Anastasia Tatalina. She's the first winter female athlete to medal from Russia. Is that right? Crazy. And then, of course, we have some vets out here. Sarah Hofflin, Julia Tano. I mean, the field is so deep. Olivia Aslan, I know she has some very technical jump and rail tricks she doesn't have a medal here in slope style yet so maybe today's her day yeah and julia and sarah hoffman both withdrew from big air last night right before it started obviously to focus on slope style out here today but uh, let's take a look at what's at stake out here today this is how it works it's samsung galaxy women's ski slope style they're going to get three runs out here today the judges are working off of a 100 point scale it's your best run that counts but maggie kind of talk about what the judges are looking for yeah so the judging is based on creativity innovation difficulty and progression but once again, they are definitely trying to focus a bit more on the style and creativity as well. Well, before we get to it, let's check in one more time with Kristen. You know, we mentioned about that creativity. Rel Harwood has showcased that all weekend long. As a rookie coming into X Games, she has entered herself in three different events. So far, she has medaled in two of those. The only other female skier to ever medal in three events in a debut season is Eileen Gu. So if she can do that, if she can medal here in uh, women's ski slope style, she will be putting herself in rare company, guys. Thank you, Kristen. So taking a look here. Some of the athletes are eyeing up the course out here today. So many features to choose from. And Maggie, I mean, this is your, this is your wheelhouse. I mean, you've got two gold medals in this event. I mean, what's your, what's your strategy? You focus more on the rails, the jumps. I mean, the judges are looking for a mix of everything. Well, the biggest thing is the whole run is scored top to bottom. And you have to be clean and execute on every single feature. So it's not just about one specific feature. You have to be clean, styly. You know, all the things that the judges are looking for. We have to see it all. And it has to be perfection out here. Speaking of the judges, let's put the boys on the spot right now let's check in with our head judge jason aarons let's hear it from them boys what are you looking for out here today yeah i think maggie was just saying it pretty well we're looking for full poles top to bottom on this course uh very rail heavy with some big jumps at the bottom so we're really looking for complete full runs good rail tricks creative rail lines excited to see what goes down today 
Yeah, I mean, yeah absolutely. Oh, go for oh, it. Go ahead, no, go Jimmy, you nope, go. This you is go. your wheelhouse. You dive in. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I mean, obviously, it's just a heavy field of women. And, I mean, they're going to have to absolutely have to put it down to perfection. I mean, what are you going to really critique on? Probably grabs, just landings, all of that, right? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're really going to be looking at the specifics on these runs today and looking for... Just really good execution top to bottom. Finishing rails, start to finish, good, well-held grabs, solid, clean landings. Uh, you know, full package today. I think we'll see it. So there you go. A very thorough breakdown, not only from the judges, but uh, from someone who's won this thing twice, Maggie. Hmm, You're yeah. on a very short <laughs> list of people that have actually won gold in this event twice, by the way. Am so, I really? Oh. Yes, you are. I've I'm got stats galore to here. throw your way today, young lady. <laughs> So, taking a look at the course from the athlete's point of view here, this is Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Styles. You heard Kristen mention in her first report there, you've got four different rail gardens to choose from here. Then you get into the jump section. There's three different options down there. The first one being something that we call the shark fin. Yes, the shark fin. It's a left side wall hit only. Like you saw last year, we had two shark fins, so left and right wall. So it might be, honestly, a bit of a disadvantage to an athlete who can spin, you know, just kind of that direction of how the wall spins you. We started off with one of our X Games rookies, Anastasia Tatalina. Now, last night, she had a big performance in Big Air where she walked out of here with a silver medal. She starts us off here today in Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. I mean, she's probably coming in with so much just confidence off of Big Air. You really have nothing to lose as a rookie, again, podiuming in one event, and then here in Slope Style today. Let's see what she has for us. So that was a clean, clean rail section up top. And once again, like I emphasize, the whole run is scored top to bottom. You have to be clean and execute on every feature, just like she's doing here. Getting a good landing over the shark fin. Two more features to go. Here she comes with the switch. Rodeo 540 Japan headed into this last jump, the money booter. And she's given us the big left side 900 tail grab. I mean, to come in here as a rookie, you get a silver medal performance last night. Then you have to start the comp today on a live <laughs> television audience. Nerves of Steel did not phase her at all. That's a great way to start off this event. No, once again, like I mentioned, I mean, she's got to have so much confidence coming off of that event. And it's showing. And it's so impressive, too. And it feels so good as a rookie or as any competitor to be able to land your first run. And, like, what I really love about slope style is just how consistent you have to be. You have to piece it all together. It's so much more technical than landing, like, the big air, where it's one trick. You have to meld it all together. So a score of 77 flat to get it started here. Remember, if you're just joining this, it is a 100-point scale. They're working on out here today. This is round one out of three, and it is your best run that counts. Also, congratulations to her. She got, just mar she got married earlier this month, back on January Aww. 5th. So congratulations, Anastasia. <laughs> Rel Harwood, another one of our X Games rookies. We can't tell this story enough. She's got a knuckle huck silver. She's got a big air bronze. And she's in for her first run here in Samsung Galaxy Slope Style. I am so excited for her. He, she came out here with no expectations. She was just so happy to be here at the X Games finally. A childhood dream come true. And then to have two medals under her belt already coming into this last event is so impressive. And there you have it. That rail run super clean. Coming into this shark fin with the big right 540. Super clean and styly with that Japan grab. Oh, and that's her signature bio nine to the right side. Wow, Rel, this is a great run coming together here. No. Oh, oh. What's, what happened there? Just straight jumping over that last jump. She must have just not thought she had the speed. I mean, this jump section is so technical. Not only are the jumps tight, or massive jumps, but they're super tight together. And if you don't feel like you have that confidence or the speed going into it, I mean, is it worth the risk? So clearly here, Rel felt like something was off, but she's got two more runs. Yeah, it's just weird. I mean, she was moving through the rail section pretty fast, and I mean, the landings look good. It just She just called it off on that last hit, so when you straight jump over like that, that's definitely going to hurt the score. That's why you see the 52, so she's looking to uh, bounce that one off the leaderboard in rounds two and three. We're in the rookie portion of the order here. This is New Zealand's Ruby Star Andrews. All right, here we have it. Oh, the beautiful switch on front 450 off. Two, yeah, the right side 270 continuing to switch to forward. That was another great rail section. These rails are these girls are absolutely crushing it so far. We saw that the men were kind of yesterday having some trouble in this rail section, but I've talked to all the females and they have loved it all throughout practice, all through the comp. Oh no, unfortunately, looks like she's just going a little bit small and not being able to squeak that 900 around. Losing a ski on that one, but uh, 
able to collect that rather quickly. So she too will be looking to run at number two. The 19.66, which she weighs in with here this first go around. Olivia Oselin. She owns a Big Air bronze medal from 2022. And then she took the first ever gold knuckles in women's ski knuckle hockey yesterday afternoon. So looking to add some more hardware she did. to she the trophy case. absolutely put it down. In th <laughs> it was so impressive to see her on that knuckle hawk yesterday. She Let's see if she has it again. And switch into that first rail feature. Yep, switch again. Ooh, with the backslide. So the backslide's super impressive because you're just using one of your feet. So it takes so many balance or so much balance. But really impressive rail run here with the front 450 off. Headed into the shark fin feature. Let's see what she has for us here. A big right side 540. Look at these girls. They are tucking it. They're going absolutely straight. These are massive jumps. No. So once again, it just looks like she's having a little bit of issue on speed. She did land a little bit high on the knuckle on that shark fin feature. So that might have been the issue with her speed going into that second jump. Yeah, she looked to go a little slow into that shark fin feature right there. To tell the tale of her bronze medal performance in Big Air 2022, by the way, she was an alternate that year up until 45 minutes before oh the my competition. Goodness. Sarah <laughs> Hoffman dropped out. That opened up a spot. She walked out with bronze that year. There you go. I mean, that's a way to start the X Games. I mean, it's crazy being in those alternate positions because you just have to be on. You have to train like you're in the contest because you never know what could happen. Okay, so a 77 flat is our top score as of right now, being held onto by Anastasia Tatalina. So that is where we stand as of right now. Did you get your official X Games merch yet, Maggie? I don't have any X Games merch. I need to get on it. It's the last day. Well, good news for you and anyone else watching at home. Swag and rights. You can get your X Games Aspen limited edition merchandise now. All you have to do is go to shop.xgames.com. We'll have more from X Games Aspen 2024 after this message and a word from our ABC stations. That's right, it's official. The summer edition is back June 28th through the 30th. We're going back to Ventura, California. And Maggie, you told me yesterday that you've never been to the summer edition of the I X Games. I've never been in my entire career, and I think I need to make it happen this summer. We have to write that wrong. You have to come out and join us. Come sit in the booth for Moto X Quarter to, Pipe. You know I'm saying this because, you know, the little birdies in our ear. I'm like, I'm hoping someone hears this. <laughs> well, here we are at Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. This is round number one out of three. We are happy. Halfway through the run order, as of right now, it's Anastasia Tatalina sitting in the top spot as we bring in Julia Tano for her first attempt out here. She owns one medal in this event. She has a slope-style bronze from 2020 in Norway. Julia, I'm so happy to see her back here. We have not seen her for a couple years here in Aspen, unfortunately, due to a knee injury that she had. And I was talking with her, you know, she's she's been one of the girls who's kind of had a rough go the last few years with just some really serious injuries. But her resilience to get back and come back to the X Games is unbelievable, and it's so inspiring. Julia, we're so excited to have you back here. And look at that. She's coming into this second jump with a lot of confidence. Not looking like speed's an issue, which is a great thing we like to see. Coming into this last jump, let's see what she has for us here. And there it is. Her left side double cork 1080. Look at the reaction. Yes, that says Julia. It all. Withdrew oh. from big air last night. Puts one down here in her first of three attempts. Oh, I know that feels so good, that feeling. I've been talking to her all week, and she just said, you know what, Maggie, I'm so proud of myself. Like I mentioned, oh, X Games mode right here on the rainbow rail with that front side switch up. <laughs> but once again, I'm so proud of her to see her out here. And then we have the Thayer's height meter. <laughs> I didn't even see you push that button. Look at the Samsung Ultra view of that replay just to give you an idea of the gap on some of these jumps. And there it is, the double cork 1080. She's one of the first females to ever do that trick and showing us that she's got it, no problem. Stomped and really glad to see a girl clear all the jumps too. I mean, 
it's a bummer when speed's an issue, but happy to see that some of the field is not having that problem. So she's going to jump to the top spot with an 85.66. And look at the fans are chiming in on the chat. Let's go, Tano. Let's yeah. go. She pulled out a big air last night, as we just told you. So we're glad to see in the lineup here in slope style. And she is sitting in the top spot as of right now. But here comes Sarah Hoffman. She also withdrew from big air last night, obviously, to focus on this event out here today. She does own a couple of medals in this event as well. She happens to have two slope style silvers to her name. Yeah, and she got what? She got bronze and knuckle huck, right? Yesterday as well. She sure did. So she already has one medal out here at X Games today. But I know slope style is her favorite event, and this is the one she's going to be looking to get another podium. She also owns some big air hardware as well. She owns a bronze medal in that event as well as a gold. So she has four total medals. Well, five, after counting what happened with knuckle huck the other day. She's in for her first of three. Drop in with a switch 270 to switch on this first rail. Oh, with the beautiful Switch 270 continuing to. And the 450 on. We have not seen a female spin 450 onto a rail quite yet. Oh, impressive. But unfortunately, right there, kind of having a little mishap on that rail, not sliding all the way to the end. And that's something that the judges are definitely going to be critiquing on. But once again, still a great run and still putting it down here. So let's see what she has for us. Oh, the switch 720 coming in to this last jump over her left shoulder for another switch hit with a big switch left 720. So back-to-back -back switch seven, super impressive. The judges love to see that, the variety of spinning both ways, both switch left, switch right. And here's that 450, kind of just tapping it. You know, I think, I know she can do that a little bit better, but still nonetheless, so impressive to see her out here spinning 450 on to these rail features. So you're saying she needs to clean up the rail section a little bit going I into that next so. round? I think so, yeah. Her, I mean, her jumps were absolutely amazing. And there you see it kind of reflected in her score. Like I said, the judges are looking for perfection out here today. So you have to nail it all. Yeah, so that 71 is going to be good enough to put her in the top three as of right now with two skiers left to go in the run order here in round number one. But taking a look last night in oh. that big air gold medal performance for Tesla Dub. There's that forward 1620 I was talking about. And right here, the Dub. 1440 switch to switch making it look so easy such an impressive show by Tess last night and, and go ahead <laughs> we're both getting excited to talk no like I mentioned she won double gold in both big air and silk cell before back in 2022 and I have a feeling she wants it again today so let's I got, see. I got another little nugget on that big air performance from last night, but I'll tell that after the run. She's in for her first to three. There you have it. The switch to 70. Oh, great rail run so far for Tess uh, with the K-Fed. So the front swap continuing back to with the back swap on the rainbow rail. So far, so great in the rail section. Coming into the shark fin with the right side, 720, looking good. Here she comes. And there it is, the left side, 1260. Is she going to give us two doubles today? I really hope we see this. Yes, there it is. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. The switch, the switch, dub, 1440, two doubles in that run. That was incredible. Look at her. She, she can't even believe it right now. In the first <laughs> round, that reaction oh, says it all. Look at her. Yes, Tess. The raw emotion. You just see an X Games mode right here. Look at this. Flawless rail section for Tess. Absolutely nailing that entire run to perfection like I was talking about. Exactly like the judges want to see. And here is this forward double cork 1260 to the left. And then finishing off with this switch 1440. Double 1440. That was a trick that got her gold last night in Big Air, too. I mean, that was so unbelievably impressive. I'm mind blown, Tess. That was awesome. Arms out, excited, claiming it as she comes into the corral right there. The story I was going to tell about Big Air last night was that she took a pretty good crash in her last practice run. 95.33. Oh, my goodness, wow. Tess. First Hell round yeah. coming out, crushing it. See that fans coming? Hey, Tess. Hell yeah, Tess is right. Get in there. Oh my goodness, Tess, that was such an unbelievable first run. I can see the raw emotion. I'm so proud of you. I know there's a lot of emotions running through you, but do you have any words for us? I can't believe it. I just led my biggest runs, upside run ever. We're so proud of you, Tess. 
We can't wait to see you again in the next two runs. A monster score. The story's going to tell about Big Air last night. Her last practice run before the comp started, she took a pretty good hit. and it, it, But then she came in in her first run. The first run score in Big Air last night, you had a style score. The perfect score for that would have been a 10. She put up a perfect she score a and then put up a 41 after that. Like, it didn't phase her at all. We were worried if that was going to upset her performance. And no, that was her version of shaking it off, was getting a perfect score in the first round last Unbelievable. night. Unbelievable. Here we move on with Mathilde Grimaud, the owner of three slope style silver medals here at the X Games. Wow, what an impressive start to her rail run. So like I mentioned earlier, for those that maybe didn't tune in in the beginning, um, Matilda unfortunately wasn't able to put it down last night in Big Air. But knowing Matilda, she is going to use that as motivation on the slope style course today. She is hungry. She wants this medal. So starting off with that alley-oop 720, absolutely perfect. Coming into the second jump with her signature right side bio nine. All right, let's see what she has for us on this last jump. Oh, so going for that switch seven, but I know that's not exactly what she wants. She has a switch double 1440, so I have a feeling that that's what we're gonna see from her. And maybe she's just warming things up. 95.33, then an 85.66 and a 77 flat, your top three for now as we take a look at the replays. So there was that alley-oop 720 on the shark fin, just kind of tickling the grab. So I think she knows, once again, I keep hitting the hammer on this, but the judges are looking for perfection. So she's going to need to get those grabs. So that 38 flat is going to keep her in seventh as of right now. Round one is complete. We have still two more rounds to go. It's the best run that counts. But as of right now, it's last night's big air gold medalist sitting in the top spot with a huge first run of 95.33. We'll have more Samsung Galaxy women's ski slope style when we return. X Games Aspen is brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. And Thayer's Natural Remedies for better looking skin. Anastasia Tatalina getting ready to start off round number two here at Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. Coming into the X Games as a rookie this weekend. She got some big air hardware last night. She's currently looking at a potential bronze medal as of right now. You heard her trainer right there saying the spin's the same to start off this run. So looking to get rid of that 77, trying to bump it up a notch here, Maggie. Here she goes with the 270 on to this first rail feature. These rails are so tight and so technical, and these females are absolutely proving to us why they're the best. Putting it down with that switch 270. Coming into this, the back two, headed into the shark fin feature. Let's see what she has for us, if she can up this from her first run. So the right side 540, Japan grab. Coming in hot to this second jump with the big switch left five, Japan. Styling it out with that one. And here's the last jump. The left side double court, Ooh. 1260. Oh my goodness. Almost going kind of over the handlebars on that one, but still getting it down to her feet. Nonetheless, upping it. She did a, a 900 on her first run, but she's showing us I can do the 1260, the dub, in my slope style run as well. And here's the replay of this double cork. 1260 with the mute grab, just like we saw her do last night in Big Air. But once again, I think she's going to have to clean up that landing, but still, nonetheless, stoked to see her improve that score and that entire run. That'll bump her up. It's going to bump up the score. It's not going to bump up the placing, though, but she gets into the 80s there with an 81.33. So we take our second look here at Rel Harwood. She finds herself sitting in that number five spot with that 52 flat. Had a little trouble with speed in that first round. Yeah, Rel was one of those athletes having trouble with speed on this, but I'm really hoping that she's going to be able to put it together. So we'll see what she has. That top rail section, super clean. Coming into this last rainbow rail, 270 on. Wow, love that one. Coming into the shark fin feature. With the right side, 540. All right, Rel, this is where you need to tuck it and go big. <laughs> so the switch, right, bio nine. Come on, this is where we saw her kind of not do that last trick because she didn't feel the speed, but here it is. The left side, Down, double court, 1260. 
Yes, Riel, she felt the speed on that one and absolutely nailed it. There we go. So like we mentioned it, we saw that the girls are having trouble with speed on the first run, but hopefully that's changing. Hopefully it's getting faster as they get more tracks in on the course. That can be beneficial for these ladies. And here's the replay of the Switch Bio 9 Japan, kind of landing high up on the knuckle, but still putting this whole run together. And that's what the judges are looking for. Yeah, that first round run, she had that straight air jump over that last set, and that definitely hurt the score, but that is going to be all in the past here. And now we'll have to see what the judges think about that. And a 78, so it is an improvement. However, that's only going to be good enough for fourth place as of right now. Still an improvement from Rel on her first run. I think if she's able to clean up that second jump feature and just be able to take that trick a little bit deeper down the landing, the judges are going to reward her. Welcome back, everyone. X Games Aspen 2024. You can text 772-4 X Games to stay up to date with behind-the-scenes action, up-to-date info, and special offers to all your fair for all of your favorite X Games merchandise. We're here in round two at the Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. We had two skiers take their second runs while we were in the break. So right now we are going to take our second look at one of our three rookies in the lineup out here today. This is Ruby Star Andrews. So Ruby was another one of our athletes who was struggling with speed. But I know all these girls with their national teams, we all have wax techs out there. So hopefully they're helping grease up these girls' skis so they can make it through the entire course for us. Starting off with that beautiful front 450 out of this rail. 270 continuing to making it look easy. Switch on to forward. All right, Ruby. Let's see if she's got the speed for these jumps. With the right side 360. All right, this is where she was struggling with speed. And there it is with the 900. Oh, oh just gets the knuckle. Unfortunately, I hate to see it when speed becomes an issue for these girls. At some point, it almost becomes out of your control, you know? It comes down to your body weight and just also, I don't know, there's so many factors, but it's such a bummer to see that happen. Something that feels so out of your control sometimes. Well, and then it also puts you in a pressure situation getting in that last round when it hasn't worked out the first two times, and then you, in that last round, you have to put down a round. I mean, you can, right. you can see the body language kind of says it all as she skied away there. And especially as a rookie, I mean, to get a podium would be great, but you always just want to land a run here out at X Games. Take another look at Olivia Oslin, your knuckle huck, gold knuckle winner from yesterday. She finds herself in a number six position here. All right, the switch tails to continuing to Olivia, one of the more styly riders out here. Exactly, right with that trick, the backslide, one footer. Love to see it with the back swap on the flat down rail. Coming into this rail feature, the front 450, making it look so easy. Oh. I love that seven, flat seven. So impressive. One of her signature rotations. But the big right side, 540. All right, looking like speed is, is starting to improve out here. Oh, no. Maybe not. Over that last jump, we see a straight, set, a straight jump again. I mean, she might have had the speed, but she kind of also had a flail on the second jump. And once again, the judges are looking for perfection. So she might also have just known, hey, it wasn't quite worth it. Yeah, a little As bit of self-preservation. Yeah, just kind of missing the grab, going big and opening up. And she knows, I got to do that trick a little bit better. So she had a 44. She jumps up the score a little bit. It's not going to improve the placing. She got a 52 there. She has one prior slope style appearance. It was last year here in Aspen where she finished in fifth. So it'll come down to that third and final run for her. Looking at Julia Tano here. She was in bigger last night, decided to withdraw to focus on slope style later today. And boy, did that ever pay off. She sits in a potential silver medal position as of right now with an 85.66. I mean, once again, putting your first, first run down oh is the best feeling ever because from there all you can do is improve you know you have a great score and you just have to keep laying it down so here she comes into this first rail with a nice 270 continuing to headed switch into this rail feature switch right onto that rail front 270 now switch left 270 so showing us she can jump on the rails both over her left and right shoulder front swap on the rainbow rail heading into this sharp fin there's the right side, 540 coming into the second jump. 
switch 900 tail grab. That was an improvement for sure. And let's see if she has the double cork 1080 again. Perfectly. Gets it down. That was such a great run, Julia. Oh, my goodness. So, like I mentioned, she put that first run down, and all you can do is improve, and she did exactly that. So, I think we're going to see a higher score from her. So, you need better than an 81.33 for the rest of the field to jump up that top three. She was sitting in second place pre-run as we took a look at Samsung slow motion here. There's that beautiful switch 900 tail grab. Tail grab is when you reach all the way back to the tail of your ski. And then here's the double cork 1080 safety grab. Just her signature trick. Like I mentioned before, she's one of the first girls to ever land that trick. Bam. Easy peasy. And the fist pump. You know she's stoked. <laughs> All right. What's it going to be? It was an 85.66 the first run. Judges are talking over. So she's going to bump it up a little bit to an 88. However, still staying in that second place position for now that's some gorgeous flying as a fan says and you are absolutely right and she gets it done in the first round and the second round she's hungry she wants another slip style medal she's sitting in second but it's your big air gold medalist from last night tesla duh sitting in the top spot as of now with a huge first run score that put her into the 90s we still have the rest of this round and round three we'll have more after this message and a word from our abc stations That was the seat, Hubert's the stag celebratory moments of the day. It's been an epic weekend out here thus far, and we're going to make some more celebratory moments out here this afternoon on our third and final day of competition. Look at that epic overhead shot right there of Aspen Snowmass, which plays host to X Games Aspen 2024. We are in round number two of the Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. We're about to take our second look at Sarah Hofflin, but if you're wondering what this course looks like, we're about to show you with the GoPro P POV, show you what it looks like from the skier's point of view. I love the POV point of view. You almost get a little feeling of what it's like to be one of these athletes hitting this slope style course. It's a really unique and fun perspective. And here you have it, Sarah, showing us some of the rail features out here. Ooh, impressive. You have four different rail guards out here. Dare I say a plethora of rail options plethora. out here. Plethora. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> so, so Sarah's sitting in that number five spot right now with a 71 flat. 95.33 is going to be hard to beat. Robinson says on the chat, you are absolutely right. So Sarah had a little bobble on the third rail feature out here. So let's see if she can clean it up for us right here. There you go. Oh, a little bit better. Or wait, my bad. I think she had a little bit of a bobble on this rail feature, but she got it, sliding it all the way to the end. That's exactly what the judges are looking for. So let's see if she has it, can keep it together in the jump section. So the big alley 540 coming into the second jump. Switch right. Switch right, 720 mute. She has that trick on lock. All right, coming over. Switch left, 720. So once again, mirroring those back-to-back -back switch 720s. That's what the judges want to see. Hey, I can spin both left and right. So a 71 flat, that first go around, only good enough for fifth. We'll take a look here and see what the judges think. You called it at the top, a little bit of a hiccup coming off of one of those rail features. That 450 that she's doing on the third rail feature is so impressive and so technical, but she's just kind of missing or nicking the rail, and I think the judges really want to see her nail that. She gets into the 80s, though, so but she's going to overtake go. Anastasia Tantalina and put herself in a bronze medal spot with that run right there with that 83.66. So. so back to that four on. I think the judges really re are rewarding that progression with that trick, so I absolutely love it. Your current leader, Tesla Duh, in for attempt number two. I mean, I don't know what Tess is going to do to make this run even better. She put down the most impressive run I've ever seen a female do on a slope-style course. So let's see what Tess has for us in store. Tiffany Wise, it says, at Tesla, duh, hashtag X Games. Go big or go home. You rock, girl. She does rock. And look at, I think she knows. She's like, I just did the most perfect run in history. So she's clearly just showing us, I'm going to take it easy. I mean, that's confidence, too. Also, Jimmy, being like, I, she thinks her 95.33 score is going to hold up. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't. 
She's going to be tough to beat. Well, so. here's the deal. There's so many different things to talk about. We kind of have to break it down in between runs here. But So last night going into Big Air, her and Matilda Grimaud were tied with the most golds at three apiece. So she now is the lone standout in that department with four golds. Take us through the replays. Yes, here we have it. She did the back swap, back slide on that rail. And let's see. I mean, she knows that she's going to get a lower score on this too. Like I mentioned, she's just taking it easy. She was also in a tie going into last night. It was a tie for third most women's ski medals. She's now in a tie for second with win most women's ski medals at nine with Maddie Bowman after that gold last night. That's right. And if she gets another medal today, that's ten. And that's She'll be tied with Kelly, Kelly Silderu at that point. Oh, my goodness. So here's Matilde coming in. That switch 270 onto that fun little whoop de rail with the lip 270 on continuing to. Come on, Matilde. I know she wants this. She's got it. The redemption, the fire, the determination. She's out here for a medal. So here's that alley oop 720, nailing the land, nailing it, and getting the grab on that one. She kind of missed it on her first hit. And there it is, the bio right side 900. And let's see what she has for us on this bottom jump. The switch double 1080. There you go. I thought maybe she was going to go for the 1440. I forgot she had that dub 10. I mean, she put that run down. She had a couple bobbles on her first run, and she can only improve from here. Looking to put that first run score of 38 in the rear view mirror, which currently has her in that number seven position. It's got to feel good after not being able to land a trick last night and to just put a run down in slope style. I mean, you can hear the sigh of relief from her, and she has one more run to make it even more perfect. Yeah, Matilde. But Sarah Hofflin in this round, jumping up into that number three position. We said earlier, Anastasia Tatalina jumping, dropping down to that number four spot. Yeah, Sarah's a vet out here, you know. She knows what it takes, so no surprise to see her jump up into the podium contention. So Matilde, she jumps up with an 85.66. So as we just gave Sarah props, she now slides out of that number four spot. So at the end of round two, it's Matilde Grimal now sitting in that number three position. We have completed two rounds of runs. We still have one more round to go. Tesla Duh in the driver's seat. Can she make it back to back gold? We'll find out after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Taking a look at some of the Samsung sites of the weekend. I mean, it has been epic out here. You got the weather conditions have been absolutely perfect. You couldn't ask for a better, better day out here for the final day of competition and the third and final round of Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. It's three rounds of runs. It's the best run that counts. Let's take a look at where we stand as of right now. It was your gold medal winner from Big Air last night, Tesla Duh. She came out in that first round, Maggie, with a monster score of 95.33. She sits in the driver's seat. Julia Tano in second, and it was Mathilde Grimal who rounds out the run order, jumped up into a bronze medal position. We still have one more round of runs to go. We dropped a couple riders during the break, so now we take our third and final look at Ruby Star Andrews. Yeah, Ruby, unfortunately, just having some issues with speed out here today, so let's see if she can clean it up. Her rail section is so smooth, so styly. She also mentioned that. She said she's very influenced by adding so much style into her skiing and into the contest, and I absolutely love that, and she's showing us that here today. Yeah, she's been absolutely nailing this rail run. Let's see if she has the speed in this jump section. So there's the right side, 360. Come on, this is where she's been having trouble on her last two runs. Does she have it? Oh, there you go. Okay, maybe holding on, actually. Okay, so still landing high and saying, I th still have the speed for this last jump. There you go, Ruby. You know, once again, putting one down, which has to feel so good. I know it's, she's probably frustrated that she's landing high up on these knuckles, but still, like I mentioned, coming out as a rookie and to just put a run down here on the slope style course has to feel good. And this girl, she has such a bright future ahead of her, so we are going to see a lot more of Ruby Star Andrews in the future. Yeah, that's and, second to last jump. It looked like she got a right there. Just yeah, a little. Just coming up a little bit short, unfortunately. 
but still being able to hold on and hit this last jump switch. She hasn't been able to put a full run down for us today. So once again, that had to feel really good. And it was impressive that she was able to regroup yep. after that one hit that last jump. So a 79.33. So it'll bump her up one spot. She'll overtake Olivia Oslin and slide into that number seven position. As Olivia Oslin, speak of the devil, is due up next. Recipient of the first ever set of gold knuckles, women's ski knuckle huck, contested for the first time yesterday at the X Games, and she walked out with top honor. She's in for her third and final attempt at slope style. All right, here comes Olivia, headed into this second rail feature. The switch back slide, just one foot, styly, super technical, with that back swap on the flat down rail, headed into this last rail feature with a big front 450 out. Let's see what she has for us up this shark fin. The alley-oop flat, 720, so styly, pumping her speed into this second jump. And there's the right side, cork nine, all right, holding on. Come on, Olivia, one more jump. With the switch, switch left, bio 10, and kind of washing out a little bit there. Oh, but almost putting that run together. She was in eighth place pre-run there with that 52 flat. And here we have the replays on this last rail feature with the front 450 out. And here's her last jump. Here's a look. Taking a look at it, Samsung Ultra View. Ultra View. And then here is the 1080. Yep, see, just over-rotating slightly and not being able to keep her skis fully switching out that 1080 degrees. But happy to see her put a run fully down. Well, she's going to have to actually stick with that 52 flat, so that 44.33 was not an improvement, so that'll leave her down there at the bottom of the pack. So we're down to our final four skiers. Julia Tano sitting in that number two spot, pretty much where she's been since the first round. Before we get to her run, we're going to check in one more time with Kristen Beat. Yeah, Julia, after her second run, her body language told an interesting story. The way that she snapped out of her skis, the way she stabbed her poles. These girls are intense competitors, so when they say, I'm just here to have fun, I'm not buying it, guys. These girls are in X Games battle mode. Absolutely. <laughs> here comes Julia. Switch 270 onto that third rail feature, opting for the rainbow rail. The front swap back two. So that's an improvement from her last two runs. So she's trying to up it on the rail features to get that score a little bit higher. Coming into this second jump, the switch right nine, looking like she didn't get the tail grab quite as well as she did last run, but still, yep, she knows it, she knows it. But so super happy to see Julia back out here at X Games, putting down some incredible runs. I'm so proud of this girl. She is so resilient coming back from some really tough injuries. And I know this is mentally a big breakthrough for her. Yeah, and talk about what that feels like to come out and just get the pressure off by putting down a big score in your first run. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely everything, Jimmy. So we are down to the final three runs here at Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. There's only one skier outside of the top three left in the lineup here that can shake up the standings. It's Sarah Hoffman who is due up next. Then we'll see Tesla Dell, your current leader, and Mathilde Grimaud, who is looking at a potential bronze medal as of right now. So this person right here is the last one standing between those three names you see in metal contention. This is Sarah Hoffman from Switzerland. Here comes Sarah. Oh, oh no! Right yeah. off the first rail. Oh, that's always so unfortunate. And once again, these judges are looking for perfection. So if you make a bobble on any single feature, it's just unfortunately a wash for the whole run. But still, Sarah Hoffman, she's a vet out here. One of one of like just such an incredible human person skier so so happy to see her still out here she's our oldest competitor too isn't she i believe so 33 years old she also has a degree in neuroscience and she also worked briefly for a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical firm in manchester uk that's right and then she was like you know what i'm just gonna ski <laughs> came into the weekend wanting to compete in three events she dropped out of big air last night to focus on this here today She's going to have to settle for that 83.66, which is going to keep her in fifth. Did someone just hand you a briefcase full of medals? Is I that what I just saw over there? Sorry. 
I, uh, Let's I get distracted here. I'm just holding a bunch of beautiful X Games medals. There you go. This is Show fun. It off. <laughs> Look at this beauty. <laughs> So I'm going to talk about history a little bit. So now Matilda's uh, guaranteed a medal as well as Tess and Julia. So Matilda's now going to move into a two-way tie with Maddie Bowman for most women, second most women's ski medals at nine. And then now Tess, she's going to move into that tie with Kelly Stildery for most women's ski medals. Absolutely amazing. Once again, Tess just putting down on her first run one of the most incredible slope style runs I've seen from any female skier. I mean, my mind is still blown. I had chills from that run. And you can just see here, she knows that she can't better that. And she's just going to play and have fun through the rest of this slope style course. Okay, let's talk about more history. In the history of Big Aaron Slope Style at the X Games, there's only been two women that have ever won both of those events at the same X Games. That's right. It was Tess, and then Megan Oldham did last it last year. year. Which, Megan Oldham is your defending gold medals for Slope Style, by the way. We haven't told that story yet. She's not here this year due to injury. Yeah. Now, if this holds up, she's going to be the only person, male or female, to have ever done it is twice. That right. Yes, Bobby oh, Brown and Heather Carlo have both done it, but only one time. She'll be the first. I did not realize that. Men's or women's ski athlete to have won bigger and slope style at the same X Games twice. That's right. Girls run the world. <laughs> How about that stat? And this, Matilde, she could shake things up here. And again, just wanting redemption after that performance last night. She had a rough go in the first round. In that second round, she bumped herself up into a bronze medal with this 85.66. So it's the last person to go here. It's Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style. Tesla Duh, your big air gold medalist last night, 95.33. Julia Tano looking at a silver with an 88 flat. Can Matilde Grimal bump up? It comes down to this last run, Maggie. So she knows she's going to be on the podium, but I know Matilde. She's a winner at heart, and she wants it so badly. Let's see if she's got it out here. So that was such an impressive rail. 270 on front, 450 out, changing the direction. Oh, my goodness. This is exciting. My palms are sweaty watching this happen because Matilde could absolutely shake things up. So the front swap on that rainbow rail. Let's see what she has for us in the jump section. There is that alley-oop, 720, perfectly with the tail grab. Headed into the second jump with her bio, 900 to the right side. Let's see, can she make it happen here? The switch, double 1080 with the tail grab. And you see her put her hands up in the air. She is so excited. I mean, that could bump her into second, but I don't know if that's going to touch Tesla's first run of a 95.33. I was just about to put you on the spot. I was going to ask you where you think this is going <laughs> to sort out overall. I mean, unbelievable. And Matilda, of course, to come out on her third run and really lay it all down. No surprise there. So we'll see where she stands. All right, X Games mode. Yeah, this rail is absolutely X Games mode. The switch, tail 270, and then changing the direction to a switch, or sorry, forward 450 out. That is such an impressive rail feature. With the front swap on the rainbow rail, and then her signature bio right side 900. I could watch her do that trick all day long. And then here she comes into the last jump. This switch, double, 1080 with the tail grab, locking on and stomping her landing. Here's a replay of it again. Yes. Such an incredible run, Matilde. So excited to see her come out and get that redemption today here in Slope Style. Okay, now we wait. Stomp alert, Robinson <laughs> chiming in on the chat. So she was in bronze pre-run. They're making us wait. The judges are talking this one over. They're building you the suspense know, right now, Maggie. When the judges take their time, oh, here oh, it is. Oh, 92.33. <laughs> She'll jump into the 90s. She'll overtake Julia Tano. Oh. So Matilde will take the silver, but Tesla Duh is going to take her second gold medal of the weekend. Wow. The only person in ski to ever win... Big air and slope style at the same X Games, Tesla, two different times. Unbelievable skiing. I mean, 
that first run, once again, I can't keep hammering home. That was the most impressive run I've ever seen from a female skier in post gold style event. Wow, Tess, thank you for pushing the progression of this sport. Are you going to hand out medals? You go, you go hand out those medals. I will drive the bus. Coming into this event, there's only been three individuals that have more than one gold medal in the history of this event on the women's side of things. Kaya Tursky has five. Kelly Sildaru has four. Maggie's got two. She just left the booth to go hand out some medals. And now we have four names on that list. It is Tesla Dove who just earned her second ever slope style X Games gold medal. There's Maggie handing out the hardware. No, did you get it caught up on the helmet? There you go. And again, that feat that we talked about, men's or women's, no one's ever done it twice until now. Let's send it down to Kristen B. A lot of emotions this weekend after your first run and even now, what's the story behind those emotions? I just can't believe it, and this one is for my dad, for sure. Uh, my dad passed away three years ago today, so that's why this one is so special. And yeah, it's for my family, and I love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Tess. What does that gold medal represent for you? Oh, I don't know. It's my 10 X Games medal. I can't believe it. I, I feel so grateful for everything, and thank you. Congratulations, Tess. Soak in this moment. Enjoy it, guys. A generational talent. And Maggie, like you said, one of the most impressive so runs we've Gabby. ever witnessed. Well, I hear Maggie's Tess. got a question for Tess as well. Unbelievable skiing. I kept saying it every single run, Tess. That was the most impressive run I've ever seen. As a female skier on a slope style course, I can see the motion and how much passion you put into this sport. Thank you for everything you do. We are so proud of you. What did it take to put down that run today? Uh, I can't believe it. It's just amazing. And yeah, it's my biggest run ever. And I'm so grateful for everything. Thank you. We are so proud of you. So, so proud of you. I've seen you as a young female work your way up in the sport and you are a legend. So an absolutely epic performance out of Tesla Dunn this weekend. She claims big air gold last night under the lights, her fourth big air gold. She comes in today in Samsung Galaxy Women's Ski Slope Style, takes gold yet again and further etches her name into the history books out here. Julia Tano, Tilgrimon with silver and Tesla Dunn claims her second slope style gold.